Well, Tracy, I used to work at a canned juice company and then I got fired because I couldn't concentrate. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All okay. right. Your own tail. That's amazing. <laughs> I love uh, it. I, I just... I, I couldn't juice it anymore because it just gave me the <laughs> All right. Welcome, Tracy Bedford, to the masterful morning show. <laughs> um, we're so delighted to have you here. Tracy is the host of the Invisible You podcast. We're so delighted to have her here. She is a barrel of laughs. If you listen to any of her episodes, you are going to end up laughing for sure. And then also just like getting motivated in some sort of direction uh, through those uh, life stories and quotes that she shares. Tracy, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for having me. I'm so appreciative to be here. And awesome. I'm to see you guys again. I feel like it's been forever. So it kind of feels like a reunion. Yeah, absolutely. We've met in masterminds of the past. And um, yeah, why don't you tell us a little bit about Invisible You? What is that? Okay, so it started, uh, it was kind of this brainchild of mine because I am a podcast junkie, as you you all know. And so I joined, I decided to join Seth Godin's course, who has a podcasting course. And I thought I'm going to share other people's podcasts because they're geniuses in their own right. And so I'm just going to share clips of their podcast so they don't die in like the podcast graveyard. So I thought that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to introduce these clips. I'm going to, I'm going to you know, scour the, uh, the podcasting world. And then I'm going to bring them to people every single week. And then the more I went through the course, the more I was like, I need to put my own spin on it. And that's when I started thinking maybe, maybe, you know, my spin would be for women over 40. And so that's what I decided so to, to work on. So it's been like the first seven or eight minutes. This is kind of how it's going right now. And it might evolve, but the first seven or eight minutes, it's uh, just me kind of talking about my story and what it's been like is going, you know, through my forties, which is if you're going through your forties, you know what I'm talking about. And then, um, and then, you know, eat right. <laughs> Melanie knows. And then presenting this clip of whatever podcast I decide that I want to highlight at the time. And it's been a blast so far. It's definitely a labor of love. It's so much work, but um, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I love it. I'm a woman under 40 and I love it so much. I love all of the stories that you bring in. I love learning about Stacy. Um, <laughs> If you don't know who Stacy is, you should listen to her podcast. I love, um, yeah, I love the range of topics too, just like from uh, self development and parenting and time management and um, psychedelics and all of it. It's a uh, it's a wide range of topics. Just a little something we like to call psychedelics. <laughs> Stacy, that was not me. You remember that was Stacy. So if she gets in trouble, you know, that's that's on her. We'll probably have her on at another point. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, you mentioned that that your podcast is geared for women um, 40 and over. Is there a specific thing that made you think 40 and up? What exactly made you come up with that that age range? Um, I think just because it's where I'm at right now and I had so many life changes at 40. So I, I got divorced. Um, I, after being married for over 20 years, um, never lived on my own before. So I was living on my own for the first time ever. And I told my daughter who was in college, I'm like, we're basically at the same point in our life. I'm just 20 years older. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, there's been just a lot of life changes still, still working full time, but just decided, you know, I need to kind of go through this journey and, and see where it leads me. Um, and so I thought, you know, everything's changing. My hair is changing. My body's changing. Uh, my personality is changing, uh, how I think about myself, how I think about the world, my relationships. I mean, everything's changed. <laughs> since I've hit 40. So Mary, you got something to look forward to. It is like such an interesting, like you hear so many people talk about 40 and, you know, and 
I, it's just a time I think so much experience has gone on. And like you said, there's a lot of changes going on at that point. Um, do you find yourself being more able to express yourself now? Like when you mentioned, you know, you and your daughter are kind of like at the same point, do you feel a little bit freer or less free or does that, has that changed for you as well? Um, I feel like I have more freedom as a person. Um, I'm trying to think how I want to, how I want to say this. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm developing myself and I have more freedom to do that but, and, and figuring out who I am as a person, um, I'm still trying to figure out how I fit in to the world and my environment now that I'm in this like midlife um, and this second season of life. So I think that's where the challenges have come to. So it's not only like figuring out who I am, but it's also figuring out where I fit into the world. Um, and I think that's kind of what, what my podcast is about too, is just that journey of discovering not only myself, but um, you know, how I'm fitting into the world now, especially because I feel like society kind of says like, oh, this is who you are now. You're over 40. You're kind of in this box. You're, you're not necessarily as relevant as you once were. You're not as beautiful as you once were. Um, you know, there's just all these things telling you that you're not as good as, as maybe you were when you were younger. And um, I think kind of challenging that and, um, I don't know, helping others, I guess, supporting other women my age um, that that are feeling that is that pressure as well. And um, I don't know, showing them what I'm going through, saying, okay, this is what I'm doing. I'm not doing it perfectly, but I am learning a lot of things along the way um, and I'm getting better at it. And so can you, does that make sense? Absolutely, <laughs> try I'm like Putting it into words. So I'm like, okay, thinking about it you're doing well you're doing well um so i was listening to your latest podcast last week and um the thing that really uh shone for me was how raw and honest you are with what you're talking about which i think is very refreshing in this day and age um so what what inspired you to be so uh, open and honest with people i don't know any other way like how, how else, I just, I don't, that's just how I've always been. Like I kind of wear my heart on my sleeve, I guess. And so I, I don't know, there's no sugar coating, you know? And I think too, um, I listen to a lot of guys, uh, a lot of their podcasts, and I don't know what it is about guys that I resonate with. Um, if you listen to my last podcast, I said it was because they're all hot, but you know, that's not really <laughs> why I listen to the guys. Uh, I, I resonate with them and it, they're very raw and, and they just kind of say it. There's no sugar coating. It's just like, this is it. Uh, this is how it goes. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe I've kind of, I don't know, taken on that role as well as feeling like I just want to shoot straight. Like, I don't want to sugarcoat it, but I don't want to be rude or nasty at the same time, which is why I think when I'm talking, I try and only talk about me and my experience. I'm not saying this is what you should do. I'm just saying this is what I'm going through. Um, I have a few suggestions at the end if you're interested in, you know, kind of learning more or getting more experience in, in whatever I'm talking about. But I try not to tell you what to do because I'm not your guru. <laughs> Uh, I'm not here to preach to you. I'm just here to kind of offer support and, and share my story. And that's what's so great about just being able to be raw and, and open like that because it cuts to the chase. You know, it's, it's none of this, what we're trying to figure out, well, what exactly does she mean by that? You know, you just go right to it. And so that's, that's helpful. And in today's age, when, you know, we're listening, we want to, we want to figure out what's going on, what exactly the situation is and really connect with someone to see if that's going to resonate with us so that's that's beautiful and I, I I can totally relate with that and connect with that it is refreshing like Kayla said thanks Melanie <laughs> that makes you feel good so Tracy we hang out in masterminds and such and we uh we learn new things and we work on our self-development so I'm super curious as to what habits and routines have stuck with you that have been impactful and keeping you motivated in life and getting you to go after your goals? Um, well, definitely sticking with the masterminds 
for sure has been one thing because that's major accountability. So, you know, I was in your mastermind, Marion, uh, and um, since have, have kind of taken the reins with that, but not filling your shoes because there's just no doing that. Um, but definitely having fun. Uh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Kudos. Uh, but definitely having fun doing it. And um, I also, you know, I take acting classes. And so I've started. Um, yes, I love it. So I started a, a support group for kind of female actors. And we do that. We meet every single week. And um, it's also a mastermind. So um, that's been that's been another one that's kind of been just a part of my routine every single week, just coming back to it. Um, I think what you mean when you say, though, like, I'm assuming you mean like morning routines and things like that. Um, could be anything. Reading for sure in the morning because as as you all, I'm in Sean's book club, so I have to keep up with the readings. Uh, probably 15, 20 minutes, I'd say every morning. And then a big one is gratitude. So I'm sure sure you guys talk uh, ad nauseum about this, but a gratitude journal. So I'm grateful every single day. Uh, I write down 10 things that I'm grateful for and why. So I don't just say like, I'm, you know, I'm grateful for the clouds, the end. You know what I mean? Like, why, why are you grateful for the clouds or whatever it is? And sometimes that leads to like actual journaling, journaling, because you're, you're writing something like I'm grateful for this person. Why? And then you kind of start just going down this, you know, this, um, I don't know, this roller coaster of, you know, what's going on, why is this person in your life and all these other things. So it's kind of a two for one. Um, what else do I do? Oh God, I guess acting class I do every single week that I consider um, a habit or routine. Reading, um, oh, support. So, you know, being around people like yourselves, making sure that um, I'm keeping in touch and I'm being supported by people who um, who have my back and who I can do the same. So I think that's about it. I'm sure there's more. This is the big that's one. That's awesome. And and when you mentioned gratitude, it's like, yeah, we, we all nod because we, we hear it often, but it's so powerful. And we love hearing more and more of it. And we love seeing how it impacts everyone. So it's it's great that you share that and, and share the way that you do it as well. So it's it's so powerful. It seems simple on, you know, just, oh, to be grateful for something, but it has such power to it. And it's so good to hear so many people um, implementing that in their daily practice. So thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah. And I know that sometimes when I would hear gratitude, I'd be like, what? Okay. I'm grateful. Like my parents, when, when I was younger, they'd be like, I'd ask for something random. Like, can I have a phone for my room? And they'd be like, you should be grateful you have food on your plate because of the people in Ethiopia. And I'm like, oh, geez. so that's what gratitude used to bring back for me. Like I should be, you know, grateful because I'm not in Ethiopia starving. You remember those commercials. Um, and so, you know, when you're a kid, you're like, what's that got to do with the phone? But, you know, now I just, I'm so much more, <laughs> I'm understanding of that now. Um, and uh, the practice has has grown for me. And honestly, I attribute it to a lot of what I'm doing now because I'm so grateful for the things that I already have that I'm just getting more of it. Hmm. Love that. So Tracy, where can people find you? Um, oh God, Marion, you probably know better than me. Uh, <laughs> so bad with this. The Invisible You podcast. The Invisible You podcast. <laughs> Subscribe uh, on your favorite platform. Yeah, yeah. You can, um, if you go to Apple iTunes, you can subscribe. And then also there's a link in the show notes, which Marion did tell me that people don't really look at the show notes, but just look at the show notes. And then you'll see a link to my, <laughs> you'll see a link to my newsletter. So sign up for the newsletter. Uh, what else? That's uh, Instagram. I am on Instagram, but I don't know my handle. It's maybe Tracy three, three. Yeah. I told you, you know, more than I do. I'm on just go to masterful manifestors and then. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just start Googling it and I'll let you know. Just, <laughs> just DM masterful manifestors. We'll get you I there. I think <laughs> you've taken the invisible part a little too far. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason it's called a visible you. 
<laughs> wow. Uh, well, that it's been so wonderful to chat with you, Tracy. Thanks so much for coming on the Masterful Morning Show. Oh, thanks, you guys. I had so much fun. Thanks for letting me talk and ramble and share my story. And, and again, it's good to see you all. It's been a while. So um, it's good to see all your smiling faces. Taylor, you. I for the joke. So, I mean, as I said, it's the only reason I, I said yes. We, we've got to put it in the contract, you know. <laughs> Sign, sealed, delivered. Well, Robin Matera is going to be checking your podcast out. So, yay. Robin. Woohoo.